give me some bar barbecue stuff. We're doing grilled Philly cheese cauliflower steak sandwiches, cabbage steaks as well. Really pretty easy to make. If you're a vegetarian, this is great. If you're not, add some bacon, make it even better. Here's a head of cauliflower. It all starts here. And these vegetable steaks are created by slicing off the rounded sides of these crucifer vegetables. That's kind of a cool name, right? You can do uh, broccoli and uh, white cabbage as well. We played around with that a little bit. Had some fun. Cauliflower is great for absorbing different marinades and different flavors. And for a steakhouse kind of savory flair, I soaked the cauliflower steaks for a couple of hours in my favorite steak marinade, which is about a bottle of light soy and some liquid smoke. The recipe's in the Barbecue Blueprint book. Really good, really easy, and it made it pretty savory. If you can, try and slice down the core and make at least two steaks from each head. So while we were lighting up the grill, I'll give you a little background of the Philly cheesesteak. Actually, it's invented by a guy named Pat Olivieri back in the 30s. He was a hot dog vendor, and he was making hot dogs. And actually got a little beef from the butcher, put it on an Italian roll, and then a cab driver caught a whiff of it and said, Hey, give me that steak sandwich. Cabbies talked to other cabbies. Drivers from all over the city all of a sudden were asking him for steak sandwiches. Eventually opened up Pat's King of Steaks on 9th Street, and they added cheese later. So for the cabbage here, I'm using a, like a low sugar base of buffalo wing sauce, a cup of hot sauce, four tablespoons melted butter, heated up in a saucepan, and just basically roast these vegetable steaks over high heat. They can really take the heat. The cauliflower really needs a lot of heat to soften up. 15, 20 minutes until it softens a little bit. And uh, you can grill a little onion till that's softened. Baste the cabbage with some additional sauce, flip it over, top it with some grilled onions, green and red thinly sliced peppers, and then give it a lot of salt and pepper to taste. Now you can top this with a white American cheese, Philly style, or the traditional Philly whiz, like cheese whiz, processed cheese sauce, serve it on a crusty Kaiser roll, ciabatta bread, or if I had to do it over again, I'd put it on a long Italian roll. But that's it. The Philly cauliflower steak sandwich and cabbage steak sandwich. Enjoy. Appreciate you watching. Subscribe, make comments, and for other tips, tricks, fun stuff, www.barbecuetricks.com.